Dear colleagues, this is a cataract with nuclear sclerosis grade 2 and the pupil has dilated this much. It is mid dilated pupil. I have taken up this case for surgery. Let us watch the surgical steps. I made the main incision by this time and now I am making on side port about 3 clock hours away from the main incision. And now I want to stain the capsule with trap and blue dye because the people may get smaller when I will start the case when I go inside the entry chamber with the tip of the FACO handpiece at that time I may need to place iris hooks so it is very important to stain the capsule to identify the anterior capsular rim if you think that you may need to apply iris hooks or BHEX or any kind of people expansion device so I have uh, stained the capsule viscoelastic substance has been injected now the people has dilated to some more extent after injecting viscoelastic substance now while I am doing capsulorexis I must take care not to touch the iris because it will become much smaller immediately see as some viscoelastic substance is coming out people is getting smaller the patient is under topical anesthesia so we have to be more careful not to touch the iris yes the rexis has been done and it is quite adequate and now hydro dissection is to be done all these tips we must take care not to deliberately touch the iris not we must be very careful uh, accidentally also we should not touch so we should prevent those movements take utmost care not to do those movements that will cause iris touch and by this time hydrodissection has been done and see the people has is dilating when we are injecting visco and when visco is coming out the people is becoming small so it is going to be a play between a cat and a rat and now in this case I have planned direct chaff so what I am planning is say grade 2 nuclear sclerosis I will not be able to hold it so I engage and rest there with very minimal vacuum and stable make this nucleus stable and chop it bury the teeth stay there and chop I don't apply much vacuum to hold the nucleus if I apply much vacuum what will happen a mass a piece of nucleus will just come off and I will not be able to hold it half of the nucleus has been managed this is another half just held the nuclear mass tilted it and removing it that's it the nucleus is managed in this case we have made only one side port so we have to use either coaxial IA or a Simco cannula and I am using a 23 gauze Simco cannula attached to a 10 cc glass syringe and this works well I have injected viscoelastic substance start spiriting from just in front of the main incision go towards the left side and in a clockwise manner I am coming to this side and almost more than half have removed now I go through the side port and I am starting anti-clockwise from 10 o'clock now going to 9 o'clock and that's it the cortex has been removed 
Now the poster capsule is nicely clean in this case, doesn't need much polishing. So here it is, is the intraocular lens. This is a hydrophobic acrylic intraocular lens. It is from Upper Sami Associates. A beautiful lens. Supra no, it is it has got a yellow tinge, it is super fog from Upper Sami Associates. It's a good lens. The side port, the single side port is hydrated. Now a final wash is given. At this time the visco BSS is directed towards the corneal endothelium. See what happens. Some viscoelastic substance sticks to the corneal endothel endothelium. It comes out at this time. Now this is the final wash. Antichamber is formed and the case is concluded. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Thank you very much.